What is going on guys, this Waffle here and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Now last time left off, we had a pretty crazy episode filled with a bunch of nonsense to be quite honest. <laughs> and uh, the main thing I, from last episode is, you guys remember at the beginning of the episode, somewhere in the middle of the episode, I asked you guys, hey, what zoom level do you guys think is good? Because, you know, sometimes people were watching on, you know, a smaller screen like a phone or something like that. And uh, we resumed out at, uh, what was it, 100% previously, which is this. And then last episode, I, I did pretty much the entire episode at 125, because that's what a lot of people liked. Let's see, where is that? There it is right there. That's what a lot of people liked. And just like I said right there, a lot of people liked the 125%, you know, the whole entire episode. People really liked it. So I think we're going to be keeping it at 125%. You know, a few people were like, oh, maybe go down to 120 or something like that. But I think 125, that's, that's a pretty good number right there. I guess we'll keep that. So that's pretty good. Also got a comment saying that uh, you guys know that at the end of last episode, we had this quest uh, gathering. Oh, jeez, today's the final day. Um, so they said, hey, you can't just like go to your inventory, go to your chest or whatever. Get the get the copper ore and just give it to Clint because uh, I'll just gift it to him. And that's why he got depressed. <laughs> but if we gave it to him at the end of last episode, uh, we need to actually go to the go to the mines, go mine 20 ore, actual copper ore, and then give it to him. So it's going to be kind of tough to try and do this uh, all in one day. Like 20 copper ore uh, seems like a pretty good amount. But thankfully, we do have this new uh, mandible, like uh, animal head, insect head thing that we got last episode. 10 to 20 damage to speed, uh, so we should be able to kill a lot of enemies super duper quickly. As well as uh, we got this thing last episode, the Warp Totem uh, Mountains, which is going to warp us directly to the mountains consumed on use. I, I'm, I'm really refraining from wanting to use that, to be quite honest. It seems like a, a pretty specific thing. I don't know if I want to actually end up using that. And you know what? Maybe I'll grab that real quick. Uh, then we'll grab some coal. Uh, I did get some comments as well, or like one one guy left like a huge hacking comment last episode. That was super duper helpful, and I updated my notes with a bunch of stuff from that. But uh, one of the things was to actually start smelting things outside of the house while watering our crops and stuff like that. So to do that, definitely want to get more uh, furnaces. Definitely feel like, uh, oh man, uh, 20 copper ore. I guess we could do that. Uh, but, you know, we only have one furnace right now, so, you know, at least getting a second furnace, I feel like that'll uh, help us out tremendously in terms of uh, trying to smelt a bunch of heckin' stuff. So, let's get ourselves this furnace, move it outside, and we'll start uh, smelting a bunch of heckin' copper ore. And I guess we could put it, like, right there, can't we? Hold on, how do we, uh, let's craft ourselves another? Where is it? Uh, furnace, copper ore, stone. Oh, I need 25. Man, hold on, there's stones out here I can break. Yeah, there's one right there. <laughs> hold on. And, I, I, by the way, I do want to expand my farm out a little bit, or, you know, my farming area. Because uh, I'm like, yeah, we're starting to run out of room over there. And we just got a bunch of seeds at the end of the last episode as well. Because we did go over to the community center and finish the summer foraging items bundle. And got ourselves like, what, 30 or something like that uh, wild seeds. So definitely want to try and plant those down. So we have plenty of uh, stone right now. So that's good. Let's try and make ourselves a second furnace. Boom. So we have two of those. Can I place those here in the front, though? That's what I'm curious about. No. Okay. So that's why well, I, I can place them here. Uh, yeah, I can place them here. Okay. Uh, I guess, I'll, yeah, you know what, just for aesthetics, just so we have as much room as possible. I guess I'll put them right there, at least for right now, and we'll smelt, smelt, and while those are smelting, we're going to be watering our crops over here, so that's good. Summer seeds, assortment of wild summer seeds. Yeah, I did get a comment, I think it was the same guy that uh, commented that a minute ago, uh, or not a minute ago, but like I was talking about a minute ago, <laughs> saying, uh, because they're wild seeds, I guess we're going to get a bunch of foraging items from those, you know, like, sweet, oh wait, one that were, oh, that's a wheat that's ready, I forgot about that, yeah. And the, yeah, these are already watered by the uh, the sprinkler right there. But yeah, as you can see right there, our uh, copper is done. So I guess we'll go up there and collect it and put even more copper inside there and get a bunch of ingots out of that. Because I'm like, what else are we going to use that copper for, right? We need to actually uh, use freshly mined copper ingots from the mines to give to uh, to Clint for his mission. So uh, let's let's definitely go do that real quick because it is the final day right now. And hey, maybe we'll get to like level 35 or something like that. Because remember last episode, we actually made it to level 30. In the mines, which is actually... Oh, whoa, these rat... Yeah, I didn't notice. Yeah, these rashes are done. Nice. So we finally have those, which is good. Uh, we need the scythe for this. I do... Yeah, we do not have that, unfortunately. These are ready again. Perfect. Look at this. Very, very helpful comment there. I definitely agree with that uh, guy that commented. Hey, why don't you... Uh, let's see. Grab the scythe. Uh, why, why don't you do the... You know, basically two birds with one stone. You know, while these are smelting, you're, you're watering your crops in the morning and whatnot, right? So that's really, really good. Thank you very much for that suggestion. Super, super good. Now, remember, uh, we did get a bunch of seeds last episode, like I said, and I think those are the wild seeds right here, yeah. I don't know if I want to plant those right now, mm, maybe at the end, like towards the end of the day or something like that, because I do want to go to the mines and I don't want to waste too much time there, you know? Radish and stuff like that, yeah, I, I guess I'll put those up at least for right now. I did get a lot of comments from you guys last episode saying, hey, sell all, like, pretty much all of this heckin' stuff. <laughs> like, if we got so much stuff inside here, it definitely makes sense to sell it, right? So, uh, 
uh, I guess we'll do that. You know, either sell it or give it, gift it, gift it to people and uh, try and get some stuff out of that that away. Or even make a, like we have wild horse rash right here, leeks and what was the other one? Parsnips. We can combine. Oh, wait, no, not parsnips. What was the other one? Leeks, horseradish, and what was the other four? Oh, yeah, dandelions. Uh, combine those together, basically, to get more uh, wild seeds and whatnot. Oh, wait, we need uh, daffodil as well. Whoops. But for the uh, wild seeds for summer, uh, we need to get spiceberry, grape, and sweet pea. And that's basically what we have right now, but it's just that we have 30 of those, which is really cool. So if we craft those, I guess all we'll get out of these are just sweet peas, grapes, and spiceberry, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because, of course, a lot of people seem to be liking these foraging items, right? So definitely want to look into doing that, you guys. Now, uh, yeah, I am running out of room over here. I I, I do want to make maybe another chest over here. I forget how expensive that was, though. Let's see. What was it, like 50 wood or... Yeah, we have 65 right there. I guess we can get another one over here, at least temporarily, at least for right now. And then uh, maybe... I don't know, maybe between episodes or something like that, I'll try and organize these a little bit better, but I do want to go to the mines, like, as soon as possible right now, right? So, uh, put the wood in there, the copper bar, we need to put that up in its respectful place over here. So we have a uh, copper ore. Geode, yeah, definitely want to go to the blacksmith to give him that. And let's get the copper bar, there you go, and let's put the trash back up inside here. At least to, you know, get a little bit of inventory space back. Let's put the geode back here, just so we have as much room as possible in our inventory for this mining trip that I want to do, like, oh man, there's a uh, copper right here this whole time, I forgot about that, yeah. Everything watered over here? Yes. Except for that. Oh, there's a piece of one piece of wheat right there I missed out on. Let's go, let's go water that real quick. I was about to get a bunch of comments from this right here. Zip. There you go, nice. <laughs> Alright, let's go put up our scythe, go put up our watering can. Even though I said I wanted to fill up the watering can before putting up, but I don't want to waste too much time over here, you guys. Golly. So, let's put up the copper. Boom. And we should be able to kill a bunch of heckin' bugs and whatnot in the caves with that bug head, so that's good. But let's check up on the weather report real quick. Sunny day tomorrow. Fortune teller says neutral today. Okay, not too bad, I suppose, huh? So let's just go. Uh, oh, yeah, one one thing, by the way, I did notice in my inventory or in my crafting menu or whatever you want to call it uh, was we're able to make like bug steaks. I don't remember uh, unlocking this. It must have been a while ago or something like that, but you're able to make bug steaks out of like a bunch of bug meat. Yeah, 10 bug meat. And that gives you 45 energy and 30 health. So, hey, if we have a lot, if we kill a lot of bugs, we got a lot of <gasps> oh, worms. Ah, oh, we just got clay right there. Yeah, I got a comment from someone, I think it was last episode, saying uh, whenever I was, like, under a tree like this, there were worms, like, right there, and they were so hidden, it was insane. Oh, yeah, then, uh, also, I think it was that guy that left that giant comment last episode, but, uh, apparently we're not going to get, like, salmon, but, like, any berries at all until fall time, so that kind of sucks. So, I guess we we'll have to wait a little while until that happens, right? I'm going to keep my eyes peeled for any, uh, potential more worms here, and I am still not seeing any, but... Let's just go inside of the mines. It's about noon right now, so we have a you know a decent amount of time right here. Not that big of a deal. I don't know why I keep going to that. <laughs> we literally have an elevator over here that goes straight down to level 30. Boom. And uh to level 31. Oh, wh whoa. This is different. This is different. But there's a piece of copper right there, right? Yep, boom. Okay, so we got two copper right there. I don't know what that is. Is that an elevator? Is that a ladder down? I can't see. Man. So I guess every 10 layers... There's like a different, oh, whoa, 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 what is that? What in the world? Like every 10 layers, there's a different like theme, I guess you could describe it as, in the caves, which is interesting. Definitely want to get like torches or something, like a lantern? I don't know. Can't see at all, but what is this? Can I mind that? Okay, I was just stone, but there is a plenty of copper here, which is good. We do need 20, so we have four right now. I think that means six, and we got another right there, so seven, eight. Ah, uh, not bad, but... Not the best either. Ah, and we still have plenty of time, but oh, oh whoops! There you go, break that. I haven't. I don't think we found the way down just yet, which kind of sucks. So I'm going to break all these, and hopefully we actually end up finding our way down to layer 32. Yeah, this new lay. Oh, well, there you go, perfect. This new like theme or whatever you don't, whatever you want to describe this as, is pretty interesting. Like I, I, I don't know if you're able to make. I, I, oh yeah, I think you are able to make torches, aren't you? I, I just opened up my inventory and check. I think it pauses the game in the background, which is good. Yeah, see, there it is right there. Yeah. Wooden sap, though. Yeah, I'm like, I didn't know it was going to be this dark. So, hey, next time we come down to the mines, definitely want to get some wooden sap. Combine it together, because we have tons of those, right? So it shouldn't be that big of a deal. There's a path here, though. Uh, but yeah, that, that's going to help us out a ton to try and I can see down here, you guys. It's crazy. Like, it's basically pitch black right there. Oh, there's another guy right there. I mean, what are these things? Like, we're, like, stone golem guys. Ugh. There we go. 49 damage right there. That was amazing. Wow. What is that? Oh, it's just double stone right there. Okay, let's not break those anymore. Seems like a waste. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. A bat. Oh, and there's a guy that spawned, like, right there. I didn't even see him there. Holy heck. Boom. Killed the bat. 
kill the little stone golem guy or whatever that creature is. We got a bat wing right there. Nice. Oh, oh, oh there's another one. Boom. Swipe. Boom. Decent damage. Remember, we have a uh, two times chance of like crit critical hits or something like that with this. Uh, oh, man. I didn't even see that bat right there. Boom. Got it. Yeah, that thing, it, like, the bats are, like, pitch black alongside... Oh, man, there's the way down right there. Too cool. Oh, man, that guy, like, blends in. Super hard cool. But yeah, the bats, super duper hard to see in here because they're, like, their body is black. The whole environment is black. You can't see at all. Let's go and take it down, right? Yep, boom, there you go, perfect. And there's another earth crystal right there. Almost missed out on that somehow. But, oh, my gosh. We might... Oh, oh, oh more bats and stuff. Golly. I don't know, I honestly, I, I might like the bats a little bit more than those heckin' maggot flying guys from earlier on, but it might just be because, remember, we have a better, uh, weapon now with that heckin', like, head. <laughs> oh, do we get enough, uh... Oh, perfect, perfect, okay, well, let's go talk to Clint, uh, once we actually get out of here. Nice, we found a way down already, I think there's a creature following me, what is that? Yeah, I see, like, you can barely see, like, green eyes right there, it's crazy. There we go, got a little bit of stone, not too bad. Let's get that copper. Let's head out of here as soon as we can, you guys. Golly, there might be a pathway over there. I don't know. Not that big of a deal. And nothing there, I don't think. Okay, let's go down. Go, go, go. I might be missing out on so much stuff here, you guys. But I'm like, I can't see 90% of the stuff around here. Anyways, I need to craft those torches next time we come back. Actually, can I grab these? Oh, I can. Ooh. Hold on. Well, I, I guess, oh, yeah. I guess if anything, I could just hold the torch, right? So that's, that's kind of cool. Where in the world? Here, pick that up. There you go. Kill this guy. Is he dead? Okay. Oh, no, no, there he is. Okay, let's just keep going this way. Oh, what in the world? There you go. Oh, there you go. Got him. And boom, dead. Nice. All right. There's another quartz right. Oh, nice. Another pathway down. That's going to be a level 35. That's good. That's our way out of here, you guys. Perfect. But let's, uh, let's switch. Oh, in the world? Omni Geode. What? No way. That seems crazy. All right, let's put that there. Actually, you know what? That's a hoe. I don't need that. Uh, let's put that right there. And I guess we'll just hold this whenever we're wandering around. And this is going to be our way of lighting up the area, huh? Without, without having to actually place anything down, which is good. So there you go, get a little bit more copper, why not? And that's, okay, I have to break through, break through uh, these. If we can find any, like, bar barrels or anything like that, that's going to be great. <sighs> but unfortunately, I'm not finding any right now. It's 5.30 p.m. Okay, well, good thing we know we could find Clint in the bar, in, in the saloon. Wait, how do I get out? Here we go. Uh, I'm like, we saw that yesterday, or uh, last episode, right? So it's not that big of a deal. We'll just go there, even though, even though the blacksmith itself is closed right now. We always just go back there, like, right now, and hopefully find them in literally the same spot, right? Now, is there anything over here worthwhile, or... Nah. Not going to waste any more time. Let's just go to the elevator and uh, get on out of here and go over to the saloon and... Uh, there you go. Layer zero. Let's get the heck out of here. Successful little, little mission right there. Mini mission. Not too bad. And it's still bright outside, which is good. <laughs> so, let's just go over here and, uh... How much do we have right now? Yeah, we have 34 right now. Yeah, that's, that's plenty. That's more than enough. Where am I going? This way. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, let's switch out the hoe back over here just in case we come across any worms. Boom. There you go. Perfect. And put the torch back. Noise. All right. But, yeah, remember, the, like, mining the worm guy, that's how we got that warp totem last episode. So, hey, it definitely pays off. Seems like we get some pretty valuable stuff whenever we uh, mine those little worm guys. But always need to be vigilant for those things. I can never I can see them until it's, like, too late. <laughs> then I read the comments and I was like, oh, man, I missed, like, ten worms this episode. <laughs> we'll see if there's any more. Uh, oh, man, there is on the bulletin board right there. Let's go. Yep, there you go. Uh, trying to keep the art of fishing alive. We'll pay 100 gold to any fisherman who catches one pike. Good luck, Willie. 100 gold reward. You get to keep the fish. Awesome. You know what? Let's do that. I like doing these missions here. Well, let's definitely keep doing more of those. Oh, yeah. Yesterday was Gus's birthday. We did give him a gift. That's good. But tomorrow is Maru's birthday. Now, do we know anything about Maru in terms of what does she actually like? Let's go. Uh, oh, there she is right there. I have like no relationship points with her, which kind of sucks. Well, I know she doesn't like salmon berries. So, hey, that's good. Maybe today, okay, normal gift. I'm like, I don't have any bread. I think we got that bread out of the trash, didn't we? <laughs> and she doesn't like uh, spring onions. So let's not give her that. Uh, fruits and vegetable. Okay, there's like no encompassing like menu there that shows, oh, she doesn't like these things. That kind of sucks. We do have a neutral uh, thing today, so I'll, I'll still check. Oh man, Joji Cola, hey, I'll take that. Uh, maybe I'll give her sweet peas or something like that today if I can find her. I think she's uh, up there or something like that, but uh, I don't know where she'd be this time of day. Let's go inside the saloon. Let's see if Clint's over here. If he is, that's going to be good. No, he is not. Okay, well, might want to come back here a little bit later. Maybe maybe he's walking over here. Maybe he's on his way over here. And we could actually uh, do that mission before it's too heckin' late, right? Oh, yep, perfect. There he is. Awesome. Okay, so Clint. Boom. Hey, there we go. <laughs> he's not depressed anymore. <laughs> you brought me the ores I requested. Great. 
Hmm, it seems these ores don't have any rare gems inside. <laughs> That's okay. Here's your ores back, and your payment, as promised. Alright, well, I assume if he did find anything rare inside, he'd uh, keep it, and then uh, <laughs> i just get my ores back. And uh, that, that would be that, but uh, thankfully we didn't get scammed right there, so that's good, right? Now, to find Maru, where do we go to find her, right? Isn't it up here? Yes. And then uh, shop up at 9 a.m. to 5 a.m. Well, it's also like a house, so we just go up there like right now, I think, right? Uh, and then hopefully find Maru, and then give her, like, just a test item just to see, okay, does she like sweet peas? If she does like sweet peas, definitely want to give it to her again tomorrow uh, for her birthday, so we actually get... You know, good relationship points with her, especially because we literally have no relationship points with her anyways. So definitely pays off to do that. So let's go. It's locked to 8 p.m. Oh, my gosh. Well, their house itself is locked at 8 p.m. So that sucks. I don't know if she hangs out in the bar, though. I'll have to check. I, yeah, I don't, I don't think I ever remember seeing her over at the bar, unfortunately. So that guy suck, man. And I don't know how to how, how do I get a pike fish uh, for that one guy's man. Oh, here we go. Ooh, oh yeah, look at this, this is good, this is good, okay, so, I don't think we ever caught a, a pike though, yeah, we had a tilapia a few episodes ago, and I heckin' either sold it or something, we need to give it to the community center, I believe, right, so that kinda sucks, number caught one, biggest catch is 19 inches, that's pretty good, biggest catch of a crab is 16 inches, we've only ever caught one, I think the only other crabs we've got were like rock crabs that we killed the, the rock or whatever, and picked up the crab flounder, I don't think we ever got a pike though, so that sucks. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I did get a comment from uh, someone a while ago. It's like at the bottom of my notes or something like that. It's been a while. But uh, saying to go to the lake and fish over there, and that's where we could find the big mouth bass or something like that, or large mouth or whatever it's called. So uh, I think we need that for some sort of thing. I think it's the community center or something like that. So I suppose if we do that sometime, especially once we have a, a better fishing rod, especially the, the fiberglass one that requires actual bait. So, uh, yep, there you go. Anyways, for right now, though, this is late. It is uh, 9 p.m. I don't think there's really, I don't know. I, I guess we can go to the to the bar real quick just just generally just talk to people over there see what's going on actually you know what let's go to the beach it's been it's been a little while since we've gone there i do want to go foraging over there and hopefully get some good stuff like uh what do we get over there oh man there's a thing right there too whoa look at that and we got worms perfect that's probably the first time anyone's ever said that like enthusiastically hey oh my gosh i got an anchor what hey everyone i have worms that is so perfect no one ever says that, right? But uh, I love the contrast over here. You can see those worms so easily. Oh my gosh, another one right there. Look at this. A book? Hey, I found a lost book. The library has been expanded. How do I read that one? I think I might have to go to the library itself to actually read that, right? How in the world? How did I pull up one time? I know I, I remember reading that at one point in time. I don't know where in the world that is. Here it is. Is this here? Achievements. Oh yeah, I forgot there's like... Oh, hey, I got that achievement right there. I forgot about that. <laughs> but uh, Lewis asked for a favor. Well, yeah, I don't think it's in there. I think I actually do have to go to the library to read that, unfortunately. So that sucks. But let's go over here to the coral area of this, uh, the beach. Just because, yep, yep, boom, there's one right there. Because these things over here seem to be a little bit more valuable than the stuff we find on that left side of the, uh, the oh, man, is my inventory full? Yeah, it is. Uh, I guess I'll get rid of the torch, the one torch randomly I have in my inventory. I guess I'll get rid of that. Only it's not that big of a deal, right? So, yep, there you go. Let's get that, though. That's going to be a lot more valuable than that torch, so don't mind if I do, right? And I am not seeing anything else around here. Actually, now that I think about it, I probably want the best of idea to get rid of that torch because maybe I can light this up and see things a little bit easier. I don't know. Either way, uh, it's 10.50 p.m. I did also get a comment. I think it was also part of that giant comment I got last episode saying uh, it takes about one hour, one game out, one in-game hour to, like, travel across the map or something like that, like, to my base. So if I want to get to my base or to my farm from the other side of the heckin' map, like, before midnight, you know, so we have, you know, a full stamina or whatever in the morning, then we need to leave before, like, 11 p.m. or something like that, right? So leaving at, like, 11, 10 or 11, like, o'clock straight up right there, hey, I think we're going to get back to the base just in time here, you guys. So that's going to be great. I don't know if there's any foraging things here. I think we took the northern route from our base, so uh, might be missing out on something there, but... Not that big of a deal. So 11.40. Seems like that guy might be onto something. There you guys. And yeah, we're, we're definitely getting there uh, before then. So that's good. We should have... Oh, and then we got a level 3 mining right there. One, plus one pickaxe proficiency. New cooking recipe. A miner's treat. Looks like a little lollipop. <laughs> what? How's that a miner's treat? Oh, I get... Uh, there's a little pun there. Miner's treat and miner like a little kid, huh? <laughs> also miner as in someone who goes mining. <laughs> Anyways, let's get our- oh yeah, I never got my uh, gold from Clint, so hey, there you go, got a little bit of money right there, and then the fishing. <sighs> Today's the final day to do this one, I don't- I just don't know where to catch it. 
I never, if I caught it before and I knew, oh, go to the ocean, go to the lake. And I'm not, I'm not a fisherman in real life. I don't know where pikes hang out. I guess I can look it up on Google or something like that, right? <laughs> but I don't know if I want to do, oh yeah, I forgot to sell a bunch of stuff. Because I went foraging last episode and I forgot to do that, but whatever. I, I guess we can sell to Pierre or something like that, so it's not that big of a deal. But hey, we have mail. Let's see what this is. Dear Waffle, tomorrow we're all gathering at the beach for the annual Pelican Town Luau. The highlight of the event is the communal potluck. Make sure you bring something good to contribute. The governor himself is attending the event, whoa. So make sure you're on your best behavior. Come to the beach sometime between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. Ooh, interesting. So how are we gonna, I guess I have to actually make, but how do I make some, I don't have the kitchen, do I? Except for like basic things like that. This, the field snack, that's like the only thing I'm able to make right now, right? Except for, I, I guess like bug steak, I can make that too, but like. <laughs> Imagine bringing a bug stick to a freaking luau. I don't want to do that. I'll, I'll get people giving me weird looks or something stupid. Huh? Oh, that's an artifact. You can give it at the gun throw. I forgot about that. Yeah. Uh, but either way, let, let's go inside. Let's drop off some stuff that we can actually stack up with other stuff over here. Uh, just kind of empty our inventory a little bit. And oh, wow, that was a lot right there. Nice. Uh, and then we'll, we'll sell some of the stuff like the corals and mussels and maybe go over to uh, whatever whatever his name is to open up the geode and the Omni geode. I'm very curious about that Omni geode, you guys. Uh, Batwing monster loot. I guess we'll put that up inside of here. And then a uh, Joja Cole. I I'll keep that, I guess. Oh, yeah. And then Maru's birthday is today, too. Let's definitely uh, remember that. But let's check our... Uh oh, Queen of Sauce rerun. We'll see what this is about. Oh, God. Skipped over again. Okay, whatever. Not that big of a deal. <laughs> Baked fish. Whenever I make this one at home, my two cats go bananas. I need a second chef around just to keep them from hopping on the counter for a bite. Just make sure the fish is fresh, preferably caught within your own... Wait, what is that? Uh, preferably caught with your own rod. Now watch as I place the fish on a bed of spring greens. You learned how to cook baked fish. I wonder how you make baked fish. I wonder if you have to bake the fish. <laughs> Let's see, what is this? Uh, what is the luck today? Oh, they're very displeased today. Whoops, that's gonna suck. And what's the weather tomorrow? I don't think I checked that yet, did I? Uh, hey, it's going to be clear and sunny tomorrow. Perfect weather for the luau. The event will take place on the beach starting from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Don't be late. All right, let's remember that. It's not even on the map, is it? I, th I think Maru's birthday is on the map, but the luau isn't. So I'm actually kind of surprised by that, to be quite honest. Either way, we do have a uh, we do have some stuff I do want to smelt while we're watering our crops for the morning time. Right. So let's grab those and we'll have it. Yeah, we don't have anything else, unfortunately. So uh, I guess we'll just do this. This is going to be the new habit, by the way, you guys. This is pretty good. We, it's always good to build a good habit, right? So let's actually start watering crops while smelting ores and whatnot, right? So how do I do that? Here we go. Boom, boom. And then uh, water some crops. And I don't know if there's going to be anything today that's ready to be harvested just yet. And there's a tree that seems to randomly have grown underneath my house right there. <laughs> or uh, underneath my uh, farming area here, I guess I'll describe this as. There you go. And that's already watered there. This is already watered there. And I guess I'll just get rid of this. So, whoops. Get rid of the stone and then cut down the heckin' tree. And then, yeah, remember last episode, a heckin' lightning struck our base over here and a tree, like, got cut down. I picked up a bunch of wood. That was super duper cool. I think that's another event that does indeed happen. Hey, let's remember, we can actually pick this stuff up over here. So, <laughs> there you go. Let's not forget about that, you guys. And uh, let's keep watering the stuff. I think my watering can might be... There you go. Let's definitely fill that up so it's, you know, have something to actually water it with. Don't want to water with air, right? <laughs> Anyways. Uh, oh, looks like the stuff over there is done, but I'm, I'm kind of far away in these signs. You know what? I'm going to get rid of these signs. They're kind of blocking the path anyways, and we're not even going to use them, so I'll well get rid of them. I, I guess we'll keep them in case we want to use them for whatever else in the future, but uh, there you go. Oh, did I just waste a seed, right? Oh, yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. I think, I think it just uses the image right there. It doesn't actually use the seed whenever we right-click it with the seed, right? So either way, there you go. Smell even more stuff. And uh, that's all water. I, yep, I think so. Perfect. All right, nice. Well, let's put up the uh, the watering can. I'm like, it's basically full. Not that big of a deal. What's, I guess we'll, I guess we'll th put that up inside there. Not that big of a deal. And was there something else I was going to put up over here? I don't think so. Let me go. Uh, hold on. Yeah, there's a few more uh, copper I can smelt here. I guess I'll just smelt these because these are probably almost done. But I definitely want to head on over to the blacksmith. He opens up at like, what, nine? So let's definitely go over there. Boom, 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 boom. And sell some stuff to Pierre. Actually, we can't. Isn't he closed today on Wednesdays? So, that kind of sucks. Put all that up. There you go. And is there anything else I can put up? Uh, there you go. Perfect. I think everything else is fine. Oh, wait. Hold on. Sap and wood. That's how we get torches, right? So, let's definitely put that up and let's make, sure, make ourselves some torches. At least to have it. And then, uh, let's see. There you go. Oh, man. Whoa. Oh, that's two. It used two sap to make a singular torch. Golly. Yeah, I don't know. That gets, that's pretty expensive, you guys. I'm, I guess if anything, I could place, start placing those down around my house. Oh, wow, yeah, we have tons of sap, though. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, so I guess I get 32 of these. 
along with the 16 wood we, ha we have right there, we should be able to make a bunch of and torches. Let's see. Yep. And boom, 16 torches on top of the 13. We have 19. Nice. Hey, that's some quick baths right there, you guys. No waste. Anything else in my inventory? I don't think so. I guess I'll just sell everything else and then I guess I'll give Maru... <sighs> I don't know, let's go give her a tulip. That seems like the, like, like, plant, the, or whatever, the gift to give to people, especially girls, right? So, let's give her a tulip. That seems like a safe gift, except for Sebastian. That's, like, the only person who done, like, heckin' tulips, right? <laughs> so, I guess we'll just go on. Oh, hey, the, uh, eh, you know, what? we'll come back here later. Not that big of a deal, but let's keep, uh, I guess we'll just keep foraging for things over here so we can make more of those wild. Oh, I forgot to plant the wild seeds yesterday. Whoops. But, hey, there's, uh, two sweet peas right here. Not that big of a deal. There you go. Noise. And uh, I suppose we'll go over to... Who else could buy stuff? I guess maybe... Can I sell stuff to Joja Mart? I don't know if I can, if Pierre's closed today for being Wednesday and whatnot, right? I guess we can go over to Joja Mart just to sell stuff. Do not, not buy anything. Not supporting him that way. And if anything, hey, they're supporting me by giving me money, right? But I do want to check. Yeah, closed on Wednesdays. Okay, so that's, that's good to know that... Yes, they are closed on Wednesdays. That kind of sucks. But I guess that just kind of incentivizes us to go around to other locations to support other local businesses and whatnot. And speaking of local businesses, let's go over to the big corporation, the mega corporation known as Joja Mart. <laughs> and go see what's going on over there. Actually, hold on. I do have that uh, anchor over here, right? Oh, yeah, and then a book, too. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, there's a book missing here. How do I put the book here? Oh, do I have to give it to you or donate it to the museum? No, I don't think so. Yeah. Anyways, Gunther can tell me more about this. I guess we'll put this... Put it, put it here. There you go. Nice. I can't do anything else. So one of these books was it this one? Which which one was it? Book by Marnie. Yeah, the animals are very sensitive or whatever, right? On the world. Hold on. This one. We just had a book that we found. Can I not put that here? Oh, there it is, right there. On foraging. The local woods and mountains are great places to find wild produce. A good forager will clear out any weeds, stumps, or stones from those areas, so the wild produce has plenty of space to grow. Expert foragers know that the secret to cultivating wild food is that it can be grown on the farm. Yeah, because we have a lot of those already from the from the bundles, so we can actually grow those foraging things on the farm now, because we got like 30 summer wild seeds or whatever, right? So if I want to do that, I wanted to do it yesterday. I got distracted. I wanted to go to mines and all that kind of stuff, so yeah, maybe we'll do it today. Uh, isn't that amazing? Yeah, hey, that was a pretty good tip right there. Not bad, not bad. And, uh, what about this right here? This is a book by Marnie. Yeah, it's, it's still that icon right there. Whatever. Let's go read about the, uh, the anchor that we placed down over here. I'm very interested in that, because we literally just found it at the beach randomly. Anchor. It may have belonged to an ancient, or two ancient pirates. Okay. I'm like a pirate, maybe a pirate from, like, 100, 200 years ago. I don't know if you call that ancient or anything like that, but, uh, hey, maybe those pirates were also- Oh, what in the world? Okay, that was kind of weird. <laughs> Just got the door blocked by, uh, whatever her name was, Jazz. Oh, no, so here's the blacksmith. Let's go over here, let's go open up those geodes. I, now, how, how much does it cost to open up the big geode, though? Or the Omni geode, or whatever it's called. Is it still, I guess it's 25 still, so, uh... And we got five stone, what? That is a scam. That's a scam, and he swiped what, what whatever was inside of there and gave me the stone. <laughs> Man, alright. Let's do another one. That's a 25. Oh! What is that? J Jagu Jaguite? I don't know how to pronounce that, but hey, there it is. And we got a weird, like, sound effect right there and stuff, too. So, hey, maybe, maybe that's good. I, I, I don't know. Then we can buy a gold or gold ore there and coal and iron ore and whatnot. I don't know if I want to do that. We have 900 or up uh, $700, which is, it's all right. But we still need a pretty good amount of money to actually upgrade our watering can and then also upgrade our fishing rod or what. Oh, man, we got worms. Give me those worms. Oh, prehistoric rib. What? We found a skull a few episodes ago, and now we found a rib. Don't mind if I do. Any more worms around here? No, I don't think so. Not bad. I guess we'll go. I'm like, we're right here next to the thing. Let's go donate this. Go see what it says about this. Hey, I, I know I was just inside here with a heckin' anchor, but uh, here's a rib. I'll put that right here. Should I do that? You know, yeah, there's the head. Let's put the rib right there. That makes sense. Maybe you know, put like a foot right there or something like that. That'd be pretty cool. Noise. I wonder, I don't know. I don't know if I can move things around. Like, uh, maybe... Like, if I want to move the skeleton, like, to its own thing, like, over here. I don't know if I can move him around. Man, I might have to heckin' restart the whole entire game if I want to do that, right? Prehistoric rib. Little gouge marks on the side suggested this rib was someone's dinner. <laughs> yeah, someone's probably making some delicious ribs with that rib. And, uh, kind of bit into it as well. Got some of that delicious bone marrow out of that. But, let's go out of here. And, uh, I, I guess we'll head north. 
to Jojamar like I originally wanted to do until I got distracted by other stuff, <laughs> which is completely new to the channel, by the way, you guys. I know I'm, I know you guys aren't used to that. Oh, wow. Look at everyone over here going to shop to Jojamar. What, do they have a sale going on right now or something? What, what was happening? Let's sell. I can't sell. Okay, I can't sell anything. Okay, that sucks. Uh, what can I do today then? Can I, can, I, don't, I don't think I can. Yeah, that guy just tells you, he just gives you the membership or whatever, right? I don't have to work tomorrow. I've never been so happy. Hey, that's good. Let's talk to other people around here just because we haven't talked to like anyone in a while. <laughs> what did you say? It's 12.50 p.m. already? My goodness. Is that just something she says specifically at 12.50? That's kind of weird. I still have tons of work to do. Okay, well, I'll leave you alone. And hey, Pam, are you getting your own alcohol here or what? What are you doing here? Having a local farm is good for our town. Oh, hey, thanks. Uh, you know what's not good for our town? Being a drunk. So uh, why don't you work on that, huh? I'm being such an unnecessary savage to uh to Pam over there, but I'm like Haley's being a savage to me, so hey, maybe maybe I'll maybe I'm just passing around the savagery. <laughs> Anyways, let's keep going around here. See if we can find any more worms or whatever. I don't know how who we're gonna sell all this random trash to. I guess if anything, Willie will buy the Whoa, rainbow shell. Ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is there uh no community center done like that? Done like that. I I, I guess I could just sell those. Jacko, what is that done? Need a uh, community center. Don't want that, but uh, let's, still, let's go up here tomorrow. Oh, can I? I don't think I can go there from here. I don't think, right? They have to go around, anyways. But let's go give her the tulip for her birthday, and then I guess maybe we'll go down to uh, whatever his name is, uh, Willie. Go and sell him. Actually, yeah, let's go. Let's go talk to him before the heck and, uh, he, his shop closes at like what four or five or something like that, right? Uh, let's try and sell some of the stuff out of our inventory and try and get a little bit of money out of that. And hey, maybe while we're in the area, we'll continue. And I forgot to get more bait for that. I forgot about that. Oh, wow, we're in the area. Might as well 40. Yeah, see, look at that. We have even more stuff like mussels and clams and whatever else here. Oysters. Any more worms for us around here? No, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't know if anything would be on the piers. I don't think I've ever seen anything there, but I am not seeing a thing, unfortunately. I'll still go over here, though, because it seems like we do get some pretty val- Oh, yeah, look at that. We got in, like a sea urchin or something like that, huh? Let's see, what is that? Yep, sea urchin. Noise. I'm, st I'm starting to learn these things over here. That's good. Is there anything on the pier here or, uh... Yeah, nothing there, unfortunately, so that sucks. Yeah, we need to keep our eyes peeled for those little, like, ripples in the water, too. Seems like we have pretty good luck fishing into those. I'm like, we don't have the fishing rod right now, but I'm like, maybe maybe it's still going to be there later. Maybe I can go back home, grab it, come back, fish into the little ripple in the water, and get a bunch of heckin' fish that away or something like that, huh? But it is 3 p.m. Let's go before you heckin' close it. Oh, yeah, see, like, right there. I don't know if we can come back here a little bit later and fish on that and get a bunch of stuff, but let's go inside here and try and get a little bit of money. Oh, the sea urchins and whatever else we have, like the core. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do we have any, uh, does, does the community center want mussels? No. Sea urchin, no. And we already checked these. Okay, so just making sure here so we can get a little bit of money out of that. There you go. Boom, boom. And we're at 50. Oh, man, getting some good money there, you guys. Nice. All right. Well, hey, maybe in the morning once we sell some other random trash, uh, maybe we'll have like $2,000. We could actually, oh, wait, no, it was 1800 I think, right? Yeah. I th I, you know what? I, th I think I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to get the fiberglass fishing rod instead of upgrading the copper watering can like right now. I, I think I'm going to get the co or the the fishing rod just because I feel like we'll get more use out of that. Even though we use the heckin' watering can literally every day, but I feel like it'll pay for itself a lot quicker. Like we'll get more valuable fish and whatnot, be able to sell those, get more money, and then hey, it'll eventually it'll it'll get us eighteen hundred dollars worth of stuff back, and hey, there you go. It basically paid for itself right then and there, right? So. I don't know, I, I kind of feel like going up that tech tree, at least for right now. Speaking of going up, let's go up here. Let's go to Maru's house, or whoever's house is actually. Hey, look at that, we have grapes. One step closer to getting more wild uh, seeds or whatever. We can make 10 of them if we get uh, spicy spice berries or whatever next, right? Well, let's go inside here and let's see if we find Maru here. I don't know. I don't know where she hangs out during the day. Oh, hey, look at that, look at that. How do we, what is that? Uh, yeah, I'm not good enough friends with Marty. There's like a heckin' teapot right there, and there's like an upstairs thing right there. Ooh, and here's, uh, Robin's room or whatever right here. She's <laughs> probably gonna wonder why I just walked straight into her heckin' room. <laughs> oh, let's go, let's go, get out of there. There you go. And I still can't go in there, Sebastian. That kind of sucks, but I don't know. We're getting, where in the world can I find? But I'm like, if anything, I have seen her looking out the telescope before, so that's something we need to look out for. We have more worms there, perfect. And we have grapes up there. Boom! Oh, another book! What? Lost book has been, uh... You found a lost book library has been expanded. That's twice in one heckin' episode. That's crazy. I don't know if there are any worms up here in this train area, though. I guess if we check real quick. Uh... And yeah, we're doing fine on energy. We don't have to go inside the spot itself to actually get, uh... 
Yeah, I'm not seeing any worms right now, unfortunately, so that sucks. We won't have to go inside either to get any energy, so don't need to worry about that, at least for right now, right? Uh, let's definitely do some dangerous stuff, such as walking on the train tracks here. <laughs> as if there's not going to be a train here eventually to run me over. <laughs> but let's go back down. I'm not seeing any worms here, unfortunately. Keep wandering around town, I guess, huh? And I, I don't think, she, yeah, like I said, I don't think she hangs out in the, uh, the bar or the saloon or whatever, so... I don't know, maybe just hang out around here, around her house. Hopefully she'll appear here eventually, right? I don't know. Let's see. She over here. We're in the... Oh, whoops, that was the wrong button. Yep. What in the... Jeez, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I don't see her there. Yeah, I don't, I'm going to have to go around town and try and I can find her. I don't know. Oh, God, hey, there's Sebastian. out. Does he like... Can I give him a... What does he like? Does he like rocks? I'm like, maybe he likes rock music. So maybe I'll give him a, a rock... <laughs> There you go. We got another question mark. Okay, at least we're myth busting stuff over here, huh? That's good. Golly. I'll give you a sweet pea, Robin. How do you like this? Thanks. This is real. Hey, she likes that. See, why don't you be more like Robin, huh? Oh, there's Mario right there. Perfect. Tulip time. Yep. You remembered my birthday. Thank you. This is great. Hey, look at that. We're getting some good uh, and endless talk as well. Are you enjoying the season? Yeah, I'm enjoying the season. Season one of Stardew Valley. <laughs> It's been so warm this year. I'm like, it is summer. Like, what do you can expect, right? Also need to talk to Robin. Need to remember to actually just straight up just talk to people instead of just gifting them all the time because that will help out a bit, right? Hey there, Waffle. How's it going? How you doing? I was just daydreaming about some carpentry uh, projects. Well, hey, why don't you actually do some carpentry projects uh, for real? Uh, maybe give me a coupon or something like that, too? I don't know. Uh, you don't have to daydream about it. You can do it for realsies. Are you doing okay at your place? How's the woodwork in your cottage holding up? It's all right, but uh, I need a little bit more money for you to actually upgrade my place, right? But... I don't know, maybe that'll be like two or three episodes from now, because we're starting to get the heckin' farm set up, which is good. Uh, oh, wait, is, wait, hold, wait, is to, isn't today the luau? Oh, gosh, I missed that, didn't I? Wait, I was on the beach earlier, wasn't I? Oh, no, it was from, oh, man. Ah, oh, see, that's why they shouldn't have two events on the same day. I was too busy trying to do the Maru birthday and all that kind of stuff, man. I'm like, what would I have even brought other than the heckin' field snacks? I don't know. Man, I feel so bad now. Uh, well, at least next year, hopefully the luau won't be on the same day as someone else's birthday. Oh, wait, no, the luau's tomorrow. Wait, what? Is it, is it today or tomorrow? Or? Oh, it must be tomorrow then. Okay, if that's the case, and that's good. It's not on the same day. I must have been super duper confused or something like that. I don't know. Uh, how long is this video? 37 minutes. Okay, not, not too bad. But also, it seems like the deeper we get into a video, like, just things things just go off the rails the deeper into a video we get, so I was kind of concerned there for a minute. But uh, we it's 8 p.m. We do have a pretty good amount of time for right now. I guess we'll go inside, drop some stuff out of our inventory, and uh, sell, or not sell, but uh, start planting a bunch of those heckin' seeds that we have. So that's going to be good. Put that up inside there as well. I guess we'll drink the jug. What else are we going to do with it, right? Get a little bit of energy out of that. So, uh... What in the world? No, do a, there you go. Drink the Joji Cola. Boom, there you go. Perfect. And I'll put the torches up over here. Let's put this up. And the uh, grapes. Put that up as well. Noise. And let's, let's put the torches up over here and then get the watering can and all those seeds and whatnot. Yeah, see, we have 30 summer seeds right there. Definitely want to use those. Speed grow? Do I want to use those? Um, maybe. I'm like, I don't know how, how long it takes for these to grow anyways. And they're kind of a random thing anyway, so I, I don't know how... Like, like, will it pay off for us to, to use speed grow on that or what? I don't know. Uh, you know what? Maybe I'll maybe I'll grow those things over here. I'm like, we have a big stump there. I don't know, I don't know what to do with that. I guess I'll just leave that there. It's going to be in the way, right? But one, two, three, four, five, six. And uh, whoops. Two, three, four, five. Okay, this is perfect. So we have exactly enough room right here to actually plant down 30 different foraging, wild summer foraging seeds right here. So this is good. So let's actually do that, and uh, you know what? Yeah, let me let me just keep doing this for the next who knows how long, and then uh, plant them all down, then water them and stuff like that, and then I guess in the morning we'll see, we'll at least get a little preview of what might be growing over here. So let me keep uh, tending to this over here. And, oh, we got a lot of a little bit of clay right there, not bad. Now, do I want to actually use any? For, I'm like, I feel like I want to use fertilizer for this stuff though, you know? But yeah, I think I'm just going to use. I think I'm just going to not use any fertilizer for this stuff. I'm like, it's foraging stuff, which is good and all, and maybe we'll get a little bit of money out of these, but, eh, not really the biggest priority in the universe, at least in my opinion for right now, right? But let me keep tending to these over here, water them and whatever else, and I'll see you guys here, uh, I guess in the morning time. Oh my gosh, you guys, look, look at how hard it is to see what is watered and what isn't at night. Like, this is why you don't heckin' do farming at night. 
<laughs> Golly. But uh, there you go. This is, oh, never mind. Literally right on the last one, I'm out of water. Boom. Okay, so there you go. Pretty sure we watered all these already. I think so. Hopefully we did. <laughs> Let's put all those up, and I guess we'll sell. Uh, yeah, you know what? We need to sell some of the stuff over here anyways. So, uh, you know, it, it, silver, grape. I'll get rid of that. Sweet pea. Yeah, especially stuff that's like silver star, gold star, and stuff like that. I guess if anything, gold star. I don't know. Do we need that? Do we need gold star for uh, sweet peas? No. Yeah, okay. Well, at least I'm checking. Oh, yeah, you can do that here, can't you? I don't know why I did that. I don't know why inventory, but... Uh, horse rash. Yeah, okay, we don't need that. Okay, let's get rid of that. Daffodil, don't need that. Boom, let's get that. Parsnip, we do need that, so I'll keep that. Uh, Silver Star's Tulip. I guess I'll save that for someone's birthday or something like that, right? Uh, then, uh, cauliflower. I need to go put that outside in the uh, that chest out there. I keep forgetting about that. Dandelions. I'm like, I'll keep the stuff that's... Uh, and then we have a random Silver Star strawberry. I guess I'll get rid of that. You know, stuff that's like Silver Star and stuff like that. I guess I'll just get rid of... Oh, yeah, someone said something about hot pepper being, like... I think it's Shane's favorite thing. I guess we could test that out in the morning. Maybe give him a... Maybe just give him a regular one. I don't know. I might be getting trolled there. Who knows? You never know, right? So, I guess maybe in the morning we can give that to him. Or tomorrow or whatever. Next episode. Who knows? Maybe this will be just a 40-minute video here. Just a 40-minute video. <laughs> Instead of an hour-long, 50-minute long or whatever, right? Huh? So, either way, uh, let's put up the mud or whatever. Here, clay. There you go. Not too bad. All right. Well, let's go outside. Uh, I'd say we got a decent amount of progress today. Decent amount of progress done today. Not too bad, I suppose. And, hey, we'll actually be able to afford that fishing rod now, huh? So let's put all that up in there. I don't give a butt cheek. Let's go, Hayda. Nice. And uh, let's see how much money we're going to get out of that. Oh, man, it hit midnight. But it, it, hold on. Can you still go to bed at, like, straight up midnight? And it's... Ah, I bet it's... I, I, I bet I bet 11.50 is the lazy you can go without having, like, a penalty against stamina or something like that. Wow, we got a pretty good amount of money right there. Nice. Got a uh, 250 from farming, which is uh, 100 from the grapes and 150 from the strawberry. Nice, both silver star. That's pretty good. And then uh, sweet pea, we got 62 from each silver star, 75 from each gold star. Wild horseradish, which we want to add one, two gold sweet peas. We got 75 for each, 37 from uh, silver star daffodil, and then six. Oh man, ah. I'm like those are regular ones. I guess if anything, we got 50 from each one right there, so not too bad from the sweet peas. 300 in total there, so hey, not too bad. I'm not going to complain about that because we're well over two thousand dollars now. Should be able to get that fiberglass fishing rod. Should be able to maybe like a quarter of our way to getting the two thousand or so dollars we need in order to get the uh, what is it called the the copper watering can or whatever. And remember, the luau is today, so you know what? I, I think I'm going to end off the episode right here. We'll have a super short forty something minute episode. Hey, look at that! We have more hot peppers done. Uh, I guess we'll grab those. Uh, oh, and then we have a carrot spray right there. And then we have a bunch of who knows what over here growing as well. So who knows what that's going to be next episode or whatever, right? So speaking of next episode, I guess we'll end off this video right here and then we'll look forward to next episode. So <laughs> thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as next episode of Stardew Valley comes out. Because like I said, uh, next episode is going to be the Luau. I definitely want to go to... Uh, whatever his name is, Willie, go buy the fiberglass fishing rod. You definitely want to go fishing with that and see, hey, what, what creatures can we actually find while fishing with a fiberglass fishing rod now? Uh, then, hey, maybe we'll uh, have a little bit more progress next episode. Maybe like a night or two is going to pass and these will actually start sprouting or whatever. And we'll actually get some good money out of these, sell all these things, get even more money and be able to afford the copper watering can or whatever I might want to get. Uh, as our next upgrade down, down here for tools or whatever, so a lot of lot of things for us to look forward here, you guys. It's uh, it's only third through the month right now. It's the 11th day of the month, so hey, still a lot of summer ahead of us. So until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Stardew Valley. Oh, bye there. Whoa.